Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, my damn. Say, man. I'll, hey, man, you know God been good to me, man. We got a blessing that done popped up on me, man. Hmm. This guy right here really don't need an introduction, man. This guy right here, when I seen him, man, you know, you know, I said, dang, that boy wearing that blue, man. I ain't going to lie. At the time when I seen him, I, I was like, man, so this dude here is taking over the internet, man, mm -hmm. and, and, and freestyle. A king of it, really. I, I can't wait to hear him on the mic. I know he ain't gonna leave us out over here hopeless, man. Check it, oh, my yeah. boy. OG Percy's in the building. Okay, 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 okay. He done just pulled up, man. Yes, sir. Say, man, what's going on, man? I'm here, man. I'm, I'm glad, of, man. I'm on top of the ground. The ground ain't on top of me, man. Man, hey, man. So, man, you know, the way we do it at Boss Talk, man, we be trying to figure out, like, who is who is OG Percy for mm -hmm. real, right? Like, mm -hmm. like a lot of people interviewed him I know they just want to talk this and talk that we gonna go there too but mm -hmm. I, I I like to hear I, I like to hear what you what you think what, what, how you do it Mr. Maker I want to know OG Percy before he was OG Percy oh okay, okay. just okay. Percy okay from a kid growing up okay let me know you said West Texas uh yeah um born in Million Memorial Hospital man West Texas down there shout out to all them boys in West Texas Million Odessa down that area, mm. the real country. I heard that's a bad that. area though. Um, well, I left, when I, left when I, I left when I was a kid. You know, so yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, yeah. I left when I was a kid. You know, my sister had a bad, bad heart, so you know. Um, oh, okay. The only um, younger doctor, sister, or older sister. My youngest sister, she's gone now, but um, she's gone. Uh, okay, due, due, sorry. Due to she had the like heart problem, three open heart surgery. She had a decaying heart. Mm. So her heart went on, played on that, but good girl. She lasted to be 23 years old, so. That's a blessing. Yeah, but the only doctors could take care of was down here in Dallas, in Dallas. at that time. So mm -hmm. we moved down here when I was like four years old. Mm -hmm. and yes, sir. Man. By, um, lived with your mom and dad or just yeah, your mom? Yeah, mom and dad. Okay, real that's mom, good. Real mom, real daddy. You know what I'm saying? For years. That's good. Real, mo real mom, real daddy. Not many people, especially black kids, can say that uh, nowadays. Yeah, but, you know, that, that ended when I got about like seven or eight. Okay, mm -hmm. I, mine yeah. ended at nine, so okay. that I time. get it, I yeah. get it. How did that affect you? Oh, you know, uh, my mom, mom, you know, my mom, I, can't, I thank my mom because she didn't um, take daddy out of life completely, you dig what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You know, daddy, they had they, self, they had their difficulties, but uh, mom always made sure daddy was in our life at all times. So, um, we never, okay, we, that's good. He never, yeah, he never left us out, so uh, daddy was always around at all times. I was a daddy baby. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was a daddy baby. I look just like my daddy, split image of the great granddaddy, the granddaddy, my daddy. Wow. I came out wanting to split image of the. Wow. So when they split up, though, you you lived with your mom. You didn't just go stay with your dad? Oh, no. We stayed, you know, the family. You know, you know how the game goes. You go, everybody going with mom. With mama. You know what I'm everybody saying? going <laughs> with mama. I everybody, went with mama. Yeah, you ain't got no choice. Because some Yo. boys be like, I don't want to be with my I want to be with my daddy. I okay. went back, but I, at first, no, mama yeah. wasn't trying to hear that. Mm. No, Plus, we, no. got a, we got right on welfare. We got food stamps. We got yeah. all that. We got government <laughs> assistance. So okay, okay. I had to be, you know yeah. what I'm saying, with the family. And when they come to count us and see who in the house and if a man yeah, stand there. Oh, yeah, they used to come back in oh, the day. Oh, no, we, we, we didn't play that. Oh, no. They we didn't get that. No, we, uh, yeah, the welfare folks in the country. Okay. Down in East Texas, okay. they would, most of the time, they'll have you to bring the kids up there to see if you really got kids. This was back in the day. I, I don't know if y'all. But you then you could go pick your kids up and take them up there if that's the case. Well, yeah, but then they'll come by if you're on housing to check, see, you know, what's going on in your house. Yeah. Okay. This happened. Okay. Well, you, but I, that yeah. may be because we country. And then we were scared of white folks. <laughs> So if you white and you come knock on the door and stuff, we start acting a little different. Like, yeah, but the white mm -hmm. man out there. Yeah. yeah, everybody got nervous when the white man knocked on the door. If he wasn't the insurance man. At the insurance man, that's right. Yeah, that part. Man. But that that's that's the country living for me though. I don't know. So when you when you say y'all moved from Midland, y'all went to Where Fort Worth? With the Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. I'm about four years old. You understand? And um uh, Mom and Dad had their difficulties and uh 
Mama remarried immediately to um, Clarence Carter. You know, I'm, hmm. I'm part of the Carter family. You know, down in Fort Worth, we had a we used to have a restaurant called John Carter's down there. Okay. Everybody used to go on Lancaster to eat at John Carter's. Nice, popular restaurant. But he's gone. All right, Peter. Uncle well, John. Right, Peter. John. What, was the food good, though? Probably. The best old food in Texas. When you walk in there, you don't see number white folks sitting around. You be like, that's, when, that's when you know it's good. This, this the wrong spot. No, but, but then he... It could turn the other way. Like they don't really know what soul food really is supposed to taste like with white folks in there. So well, I can't really, really, say really that. Man. I think I think white folks came up on slave. They food. did. So they know if we it's good. Our, what? <laughs> they that's why they there. They came up on the slave cooking. Yeah. When you, you right. think about it, the most of the restaurants we go to, mm -hmm. like like shout out to Doe Bellies. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The clientele yeah. just flip. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mainly white folks. Because they know it's good food. They know it when they taste it. That's right. They've been, they, they been eating it for years. Hey, decades, for, centuries. For over four hundred years. But then even like when you think about <laughs> for it. Low cost, right? <laughs> but even for, like when you no think cost. about it. Exactly. We think about other um types of food. When if you go into a Chinese restaurant and you don't see no Chinese and they're eating and you're like uh, something wrong nah maybe I ain't gonna eat her <laughs> I don't know it just surprised me when I pull up to uh, the Chinese Express ain't nothing but Mexicans cooking <laughs> yeah yeah okay. yeah that's that's the new way though that's the new wave ain't it we're in Texas right yeah so man uh, going to school up there um, any uh, how was it in Fort Worth schools basic education you know what I'm saying Basic education, um, you know, you get you get what you can out the school. School's just like going to an institution. But when I was coming, it depends on how old you are. I'm talking about like when you when you first started, like junior high, junior highs, middle school. Okay, yeah, we can get around up in that time. Um, school was fun. If if you knew something by then, you dig what I'm saying? Because yeah. back, back when I was coming up, you know, I I don't know if it was a a thing to do, but white folks want to talk to teach the black kids nothing. Y'all sit over here and you know, play with your pencils, you know your colors, and you know give you something to color on. And I'll be teaching reading over here with the white side of mm -hmm. school. You understand me? But um, and the game was back then was to pass you on until you got too far up that you didn't know nothing. And you know we was passed on like, man, how did I get to the eighth grade? And how did I get to the ninth grade? I kind of relate to that because they just want to get you out of there. Oh, yeah, you know they say they're gonna pass you on until you get up to when it's time to know something you don't know nothing because you ain't even got the basic education because you weren't taught nothing. You just passed on, you know, give them a band, a, a, a drum or a, a horn or a band class and a football or something like that and ignore the rest and bet, pass them on. But when you got to high school, how was it, man? I mean, this oh, old, high school was I'm fun. talking about Percy, OG Percy before Percy, but he in high school. But when I'm, did the OG uh, person become OG person? Was it in high after, school or no, after, after school? No, this after, this got to be the penitentiary or something, uh, man. OG person, you know, uh, when you come up in a city, you know, a crime was already there before the gangs was there. Before the name of the Crip and Blood gang came, gangs was already there. GQ boys, Stripling Brothers, all in the family. Um, you know, PKO, you know, all kind of gangs was there. You know, that's when you had balls and chains. You yeah, 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 <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing major. You see something that was big, it was a knife. Oh, he got a knife. Yeah, that was it. That was it. That was that, big. That was big. That was big back then. That was a knife big. Was big. A knife. My daddy used to carry come one. Come on, man. Come He'll on. pull it out quick too. <laughs> I seen him put it to a nigga so fast. Yeah, yeah come on. And, he, and come he, on. that nigga calmed down too and backed up yeah. off her. He was trying to get me. My daddy yeah. saved me that day. Nigga I, was mad because I whooped his nephew. Come on now. I hear all these kids talk about you know people who carry. I get calls all the time saying that they found a kid at school with a gun, or a mm. kid at school with a knife or something like that. I'm like, even back then. Kids were still carrying guns and knives and everything to school, right? I got caught with a with my gun. I caught myself. My mom used to send us, you know, um, on 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 um, trips out of town, you know, during the summertime. And I used to, one time she sent us on Christmas time, and I went home bragging about my my gun I kept in my locker. I went to Dunbar. I went to Dunbar oh, yeah. High School. I'm a yeah. wildcat. And then I went to Trimble Tech. You know okay. Me? But I went to Dunbar when it was the good old days when the basketball team was winning. Shout out to Coach Hughes. Hey. I'm saying y'all can see a picture of me and Coach Hughes on the internet. It just went viral. Oh yeah. Oh yes, sir. Um, Coach, Coach Hughes was the coach, but he was also my health teacher. But school was you know back when you got up to schools where you went around black teachers and they was actually teaching you something. It was really you were so you were so far on, behind on education, and then they came through. You know, I came up in the area where they snatched the D's out. You know, back then you had A, B, C, D, D yeah. and then the F. But people was past a D will get you to the twelfth grade. Yeah. Mm. You know, you, yeah, you know nothing. Dumb as dumb as a box of rocks, but you can run a football. That's it. And, and you got, <laughs> and the and truth. You, and you got D's though. Yeah. The D, the yeah, D's gonna get true. you in. You're gonna pass when they snatch that D, then they say no pass, no play. 
I remember that too. Come on now. I remember that. You got to come up in the real school there. There's no yeah. pass, no play. You know, you know, some of them cheated for a couple of years on the pass and play law until they got real strict on it. Then you had guys that could learn and really learn and be athletic at the same time. They start building a different, yeah, different team. Of you football you play players. that? You play yeah. that football? No, I didn't play nothing. You, know, you ain't mess with I, it. I didn't, I, I, didn't, I, I didn't make it that far to play. You know, I did yeah. my part. I yeah. did my part. Uh. Um. Well, great. Did, did you did you graduate? Oh, come on, stop that. They <laughs> <laughs> ain't looking around. <laughs> Who you got me in here with? You? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know what you're talking to. <laughs> nah, so, back to it. Uh, no, sir. <laughs> what did you do? I, did, I got caught with a gun in school. And, and they See, put you out. Uh, See, back then. For the they, second time. For the sec, put you out for the second time. They took you back and put you back in. Yeah, because, you, you know, back then, if you ain't did nothing with it, you just, you know what I'm saying? Just hanging in the locker. Yeah. I got jammed, you know. Um, I, didn't, I didn't get caught with it. I got snitched on, trying to be cool and tell my partners, you no, know, but, I, but I, I got saved that day. Shout out to my cousin. He saved me that day. Um. Uh, I brought the gun to school for 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 the for the real intention. Okay. Um, because the day before I was jumped in the hall when mm -hmm. I was having a one on one, you know, a couple of football players decide, you know, since I'm whooping one of their little football partners, yeah. they're gonna help them. Well, the next day I'm gonna show them. They ain't just jumping on no anybody. No, nah, nigga, y'all can get it. Yeah, oh, go get it. I ain't coming to play. With, I came. Nah, strictly to show out. So he saved you. He saved me. But what happened to the days of, okay, you got in a fight and they jumped you. Why not go back after them, you know, fist fight? Because and one thing about it, being jumped is not fair. You understand? When you doing, you got a one-on-one, -on -one, you having a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, hey, take that. No, me, I, 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 you know, I, I can take a whooping and keep on ticking. You know, you got that. You whoop me, all right, you got your hands, you got some, boy. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir, I yeah. got to tighten up. But, when, you, up but, but when a nigga. But when a nigga jump you. Two or it's three niggas. It's different. Yeah, the feeling is different. Your and you ain't going to try to jump them back. I mean, jump them back from what? Go get some they old cheated. homeboys or something? They cheat. Yeah. Uh, Man, bring no. it. Nah, don't bring it. See, I learned one thing about going get people. Uh, I had a partner named Scotty Worthy. He lost his brother, Freddie Worthy. You understand me? Where Freddie Worthy ran, got his brother over a basketball game. Didn't take him strong. He brought him back two dudes, pinned him to a wall, stabbed him 27 times. Mm. I learned right then I never go run and get my brother for nothing. If I can't handle it, then when, that, when I leave, it's over. It's over. Yeah, I ain't gonna I like cause, it. Because they can't you know, tell them what you can bring somebody else to. You know, I can bring, like, to my city, you, you see a lot of people getting killed, but they ain't the ones causing the trouble. Mm -hmm. But they partners get murdered. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So um, I'm careful who I go get or who I call. Because, you know, if I can't handle it, if it's over, it's over. No, I get because it. Because your saying. situation, what I remind me of was about that kid who brought his gun after he got jumped and bullied, you know, yeah, the day yeah. before, and he brought his yeah. gun to school the next day, mm -hmm. you know, and he shot that kid. Yeah, yeah. That's what I remind me of, yeah. exactly what it, it would, reminded it, me it of. It would have played out like that if my cousin, I told one of my cousins, I said, yeah, I'm going to get it. I said, lunch, be sure you had lunch. I'm going to smoke this, smoke cousin and make lunch. He was like, yeah, I'm serious. I got the gun. I'm ready. <laughs> you understand me? No. He, my cousin knew I was for real. He knew I was serious. He knew I wasn't playing. Mm -hmm. And uh, he went and told it on me. Yeah. And the, the, the class before um lunch came, he went, he I, got I was standing in the classroom. I heard everybody turn around the classroom, looked around like, what's going on? <laughs> I seen the principal, you understand me, the vice principal, the real principal. Oh, God damn, somebody, okay. And he said, where's Percy Demerson? I'm like, oh, shit. He said, he said it's you. He said, he said, stand right and they start watching. He said, sit right there. He said, stand up. Don't reach for nothing in your desk. He said, come on outside in the class. I'm like, okay. Shit. I ain't got nothing on me. He said, my locker. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, um, I went out and I said, back in the days, you know, if y'all you know, you got to be real familiar with school. We had a team called Salt and Pepper. Okay. No, they was black detectives. They detected the school. You know what I'm saying? They go from school to school. They was like the, the norts of the school. So um, they were standing there. I'm like, what they got Salt and Pepper for? You see Salt and Pepper, you know you're in trouble. That's the police. Mm-hmm. The undercover with the regular suits mm -hmm. on. So they took me on to the principal office and they came back and the man sl slammed the gun right there in front of me. I'm like, God damn, that's the They already done got it. But, but but the sad part, when I walked in, I was in by myself. My cousin was sitting in there. I said, Oh shit, cousin, what you do? <laughs> what you do? What you in there for? You know, shit, what you And he looked at me, he said, uh, this before they even brought the gun. He said, Man, I just I had to he, tell him. He said, I didn't want to see nobody get in trouble. Well, shit, that went over my head. Yeah. You didn't know oh, what he was talking about. What? <laughs> shit, who get in trouble? This is my cousin. This is my whole real blood cousin. Yeah. This is my real, at the family reunion, at the, at our cookouts from his wedding's cousin. Yeah. I know he ain't said it. Nah, not him. But when he said, 
I didn't want to see nobody. It went over my head. Oh, man. Hell no. Did you beat him up? No, years later, he nah. appreciated him. No. Nah. Had to. Well, no, know, but at that but moment, you're mad this. about it. She right. <laughs> at that moment, <laughs> but you're hey, mad. But, but, but no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get a chance to beat him up. Oh, okay. Uh, I was put out of school for the rest of my life. Never got a chance to go to Noble Forward Independent School District. That was it. You no how what grade school? was you oh, in at that time? Uh, watch this. Uh, I was in the eleventh grade, but mentally, I'm probably still in the fifth. <laughs> you hear me? Education wise, uh-huh. it just been thrown thrown around in the yeah, system, gone yeah. passed on up. Uh, going to school just to show off my new polo and my cohans, you know, killing them. My boats. You hear me? Putting the, you know, the quarters in the penny loaf. Whooping them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whooping part, them. The duck gym. You hear a throwback? Yes, but, uh, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And um. But at least you were going to school because, you know, growing oh, up, I knew a lot of kids who would skip school. Parents shot them off at school. Uh, you had, like, a, a hole in the fence somewhere, and they'll sneak out and uh, be gone over a girl's house, gone over hanging out with the guys, whatever. Well, They'll skip school. Well, you didn't want to be sitting in the classroom and somebody say, um, uh, um. Uh. Who mom is that up there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With the robe on. Say, man. If you don't want to be sitting in one of that, you better go to school. My mama don't play that. I don't care what they drop you off. From front door, back door. You better go in that school. Go. <laughs> Sit there if you don't learn nothing. You better be in the class. In that class. What? Let, let me ask you this Talk about the uh, the uh, documentary. I seen you. Me and my wife mm-hmm. went uh, okay. Supreme. He invited us over and we watched the documentary. Okay. okay. And you, you did a, a splendid job, man. I want to tell you. I like the fact of how you had the... You had the box with the mm. all obituaries, obituaries and stuff in them. And, and, some you, pictures kept, and you kept going through all of these different people. The whole Thanks. show, it seemed, didn't it? Mm-hmm. And I kept seeing OG Thanks. Press just kept on. He kept on telling us about all these different incidents, man. Um, for you to be able to go through all of that, it, it, it had to be. What did it build inside of you? A monster. Greatness. Um. Uh. Strong belief in God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, spiritual. I'm saying uh, spiritual warfare. A lot of demons going through it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but God took away a lot of that from me. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, but going through all that, horrifying. But, the, you know, uh, I know if y'all kept up with me, I lost my brother a couple weeks I ago. I seen that. Um, Sorry to hear that. But I didn't lose him. He was murdered. Yeah. You hear me? It's a different story. Good man. Uh, not expected man. It's like y'all going out there and finding him sitting in the car. No, he wasn't even that type of lifestyle. Like, yeah. Different. Different feeling. Um, everything in that box didn't mean nothing to me until I felt seen it happen to my brother. Mm-hmm. Wow. But in, in, in cases like wow. that, like... I would always feel like if you have God, that's the time you hold on to him more. Well, you know, you you would say that, but you know, um, you would say that, you know what I'm saying, to that shoe was on that foot. Yeah. And then you would question God. Why? For a minute. Yeah. It didn't last long. But you still would. I had to. I had to go there with him for a minute. Come on now. Come on. Now I got this. Um. It hurts me to see somebody good go out so hard. I like to see the hard go out hard. You live that life, go out that life. You live that life, don't go out. Come on, God. God dang, God. Yeah. What part of the game is that? Um, my brother ain't the only one. I was, he showed me another picture of an old lady that was good in the community, lived, worked good, fed everybody, had a house in the back. She let people stay there when she knew they was on drugs or whatever. She fed them and took care of real friends. Some youngsters went in the house and beat her to death with a hammer. Mm. How she old made, was she? she 96 years old. It made me say, come, come on now, God. You hear me? I definitely hear you. That's how I felt about my brother. Good man. Went to work every day, took care of his kids, his family, his poor children. Had to sit there and watch their daddy like that. You hear me? Wow. Now, never did nothing. He was out for his birthday. No, he ain't, you know, um, good man. Good hard work. He took her as mama, loved his mama, took her as family, took her every bill she needed paid from the phone bill to rent to everything. Make sure she had that. That's gone now. Good man gone. Wow. 
And that's and, and, yeah, brother, man. I don't even know what I'd do if I lost my brothers. Either one. Hmm. Of them. But you know what? I the only thing that hmm. comes to my mind. I said the same thing. Yeah, believe me. But we all here, just for a season. No matter how we go, hmm. right? Life is not promised. Any one of us can go any day. That's why while you're here, you're supposed to try to make an impact on everybody's life, hmm. because yeah. your life is not your own. You you're supposed to impact others. Because even like with what you're saying, what instance came up. You remember that black kid who got killed in his own apartment by that police officer, yes, the I female? Do. Yeah. But you remember at the court case how the brother went up to her right. and gave right. her that hug. Uh -huh. And yeah. you, everybody was looking at him like, you crazy. Like, how could you forgive her after she did something like that? I mean, you know, um, I did. I had, I had to do that. I had to forgive. You dig what I'm saying? I had to forgive when I didn't want to. Mm -hmm. But I had to because the lifestyle I'm into now. You dig what I'm saying? I can, you know, uh, when, you, when you don't know who you're dealing with, the principalities, when you don't know them and they come towards you, and you got to really deal with them. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm in a place I have to really deal with them. Uh, I'm in a place where if I feel like if I don't do nothing, I ain't nothing. I'm in a place if I do do something, I'm into something now. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. I can't even afford now one of them. Mm -hmm. Dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm in a point to where I done did so much for the niggas in the hood and then roll for this nigga and roll for that nigga and roll for this nigga and then, come on, person, let's go, bro. come on, let's. And I'm there. Now it's time for me to be there for my own, and I can't because the life that I chose to live now mm. is a decision I have to make. So I got to forgive. I'm only let God do his job. Cause when you, you know forgiveness saying? is not for the other person, it's not always for the other person. It's for you. Oh yeah, I need I need peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I need. I shit, I'm traumatized. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the most horrifying thing to see. My brother laying in there like that. Yeah. Good man. But all the things that you've seen in your life, because you've seen so many horrific things, how do you use that to help others? I tell them about it. Um, God, God gave me the wisdom and the knowledge to keep my mind. You know what I'm saying? Even though I wasn't educated in the, in the, in, in the books, I'm educated in the streets. I'm a scholar in the streets. I run circles around a nigga that went to Howard University. Already. You know what I'm saying? With, with just common sense that God gave me. Yeah. And I learned that that's the best sense. <laughs> I agree. You hear me? The best sense. Uh, you, can't, you can't beat me like that. I 100% agree with you that. You hear me? And, yeah. Um, I don't have to know what they know. I don't have to know what they know. God say you know more in my world. You yeah. might be poor down here, but you rich up there. Oh, really? I said, well, God, I need just, you know, drop, drop me a little change. <laughs> drop your little change. Okay. So, Monty Moses just, uh, walked in the building. What's going okay. on, Monty Moses? Okay. Okay. I had What's to get you home? on here with What's the OG, OG person. Okay. There you go. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Can, hey, I, I started him off easy, and I got the, I got the man in there Let's now. Go. Get him in. Let's get him in. So, uh, uh, the, the thing I, I can say is at, in the documentary, um, I seen where you say you was the only, you was, you was the only crip in a blood neighborhood. Um, yeah, I started, I you started, started, I started a crip gang in, in my neighborhood. That, yeah. Yeah. Was it a blood, but, but was it, it was a blood, all blood neighborhood. That's what I heard on, on, you said that on the, Rouge. yeah, on the, what made you do that? Thank you. What made you want to um, do that? <laughs> um, cause I didn't want to be like them niggas in my neighborhood. I grew up around them. I knew them niggas. I'm like, y'all in a gang? You in a gang? Yeah, you know, we blood. Come on, go. I'm not for now. I, don't, I know you niggas ain't about to. The real action. But everybody running room want to be in the gang all of a sudden. Wearing they rags, man. You know these cats ain't about that world. Hell, I wasn't even about it, but hey, I knew they help. wasn't. That's their help, though. Huh? That's their help. Well, you know, so a lot of them hide behind it. Exactly. And I, knew I know. Coward moves. You know? I know. But see, that's why I didn't want to be like them. I said, I'm going to go get it. I'm, I'm going to be a crew. I want to be against it. I, if I want to be in something, I want to be really in something. I don't want to be where I'm I want to be really about that life. You know what I'm saying? When I came up, I always wanted to go where the hardest neighborhoods was, where all the danger was. I didn't give a fuck where, if it was, excuse me about the cuss. I don't care if it was in Stop Six, Eastwood, Pratt, wherever the danger was, that's where I wanted to go. So when it came down like to, me. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so when it came down to game banging, I didn't want to be like my neighborhood. 
If I be like them, I'm just fitting in. Why well, you just can be yourself though and still yeah. do what you do? Because like, I, forget I, everybody I else. want to be in the game. I just told you that what was in style. You just you, want watch to this. Game. Just like that, that necklace you got on, that and that, that that shirt you got on. That's what's in style now. I like that. That's good because it's my clothing line, so I know it's gonna be in style. Okay, cool. So back then. If I want to be a part of it, I'm gonna get me one of them, just like I got heels on. It's in style now. I really right, like you yeah, gonna have that yeah, boss yeah, talk yeah. on. Yeah, that part. That part. That's what I want one. Yeah. <laughs> it's in style. Back then, youngster, you gotta understand that was what was in style. Yeah. Watch this. It was all type of stuff going around, but when that that came in style, and guess what? The radio, the boss talks, the the everything that you listen to, everything you looked at, that what was on. It was in style. Did you dig that? So guess what? It's either go to church or get in the style. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, you're not going to keep wearing bell bottoms when they're wearing polos. Already. You dig what I'm saying? You ain't mm. going to keep wearing bell bottoms when they got tight. You know, the, the things didn't change. And when things change, niggas either get with the program or get left behind. Back then. Hey, but you don't have to change with everything, though. Everything ain't got to change. Well, I came up in a place where I didn't want to go to church no more. Me either. I didn't know. So I got with the world. And guess what? When you get in the world, you can't go out there and change things. You either get with it or get ran over. I mean, and that, 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 that's a but lot it's of time, 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 it, depends, it, it. It depends on what area you come up in. Yeah, that's It depends exactly how right. old are you, though, first of all. I'm 31. Oh, yeah, you too late, though. <laughs> Nigga, you got to wait time. When you talk, when you talk to me, you got to be you got to be 25 years above. You know, you got 25 years behind me, youngster. So you it's two different say? worlds. You two, yeah, let, now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's say it again. I said you 25 years behind me. I done been 25 twice. Let me say that again. I done been 25 twice. You hear me? That's a lot, that's a lot of time to catch up, but I'm just saying this. That will just, just watch this. Watch this. I ain't worried about you, you know, slamming or slanging. That, oh, no, no, that's no. the game, but watch this. Uh, you couldn't tell a slave you, why, you, why you want a mind master, because that's what you better do. That's what's in style. We hear now. You can't come out and see, well, they're going to drop you off, drop you off in the slave world. And you're going to go back and change them. This is what we were now. Now nah, you're going to get with the program. You get what I'm saying? But 25 years ago, big homie, it was fucked up. You hear me? ACBC. I was here at ACBC. You know what that means, right? Mm -hmm. What's that? Before, I mean, <clears throat> it was, uh, uh, before, uh, no, I'm going to go. ACBC. No. Hold on. ACBC. You just want to see it. See there? Don't, don't be saying the same. You're going to ask me something you want to ask. Oh, I, I thought you so said I didn't know it, something. though. I, I didn't know say it. you didn't know it. You finna say it. You had it on your lip. You said it. Say it again. Before Christ and after Christ. So I'm going to let you show how different we was. This, in my era, it's before crack and after crack. You hear me? I lived in both of them worlds. I lived in the world before crack got real. Beautiful world. Skating rings, movies, theaters, bowling, family reunions, not funerals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before the cameras. I lived in a world where we didn't come up with YouTube and videos and interviews. You couldn't do them. I lived in, imagine this. Imagine a world with no cameras. You saying that when I was there. We didn't have no cameras then when I was growing up. It's, it's, it's started coming. What? It's it coming. started coming. It started coming. 25 years now. ago? They didn't have cameras? No, it started coming. It, 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 matter of fact, I said it probably just started we, coming say, in. Big homie, we walk around with, with v, VCR cameras. <laughs> what is he talking about? It was here. VCR cameras, you hear me? <laughs> Big old, that this like sound like an eight track tape. No, I, I know what you're talking but, about. But yeah, trust me, trust me, I'm way farther than you think I am. Okay, I know what I, you're I'm talking just about. saying we doing with age different, but I'm gonna keep you in your age. I gotta stay on your level because you gotta stay on mine. So, don't if you ask me a question, just remember the error you asking me it in. You yeah, you what I'm saying. Yeah, and uh, why you just can't be you? Because back then it wasn't no being you. You get killed, nigga, trying to be you. You hear me? Yeah, that's the area I came up but in. But that's just what happened though with me. Well, that's yeah, I am now. But guess what? I got a box full of dead of them. It ain't no problem hey, putting you in. We all got to die and one day. They ain't right? no problem. Right. You hear me? Back we all got to die one guess day. What? And guess what? A lot of niggas that thought like you ain't here today. Hey, but they not going to be here one day. Yeah, and, and you wouldn't have made it back then. But if I didn't make it, that's God, not nobody else. But I'm just saying, don't never put yourself in a position where you don't have to do that. That's why I'm still you know what I'm here. Saying? That's what I'm saying. That's exactly See, why I'm still here. Say, don't tell me one thing and you say you're going to do no, another. No, but I'm not. No, you, you took it like that. Nah. I didn't say that. I said, you say, I do well, what no, I, 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 I want. You're right. I do what I want you to be here. I yeah. don't put myself in a situation I don't have to be there. So yeah. it's, it's like, so I'm, I'm still here because I want to be here. Okay. It's like I could put myself in any situation. I could have, but I didn't. I tell you, I tell you, you're saying back in them days. Back in them days, huh? That's what I'm telling tell you. You gotta, yeah. you know, don't, you, know, you can't just jump up 25 years later and say this is what I would have been doing back then. Well, they just would have, nah, there wasn't no problem. 
It wasn't no problem. That just happened. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean that's <laughs> sad. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Guess what? That was mine too. That was mine too. And I and I and I, and I lived that life. I'm just like you. You just said that. That would just have to happen. I'm finna, I'm finna be in a blood neighborhood, nigga. That's gonna kill me over here. Didn't I just say that? They just gonna have to. I said that, and I did that. I did you that. You stayed life. in there. I hung in there. But but when you did it, you I remember one time you I, I heard you on the, you said this on the documentary that you okay. got caught in the wrong neighborhood. Oh yes, sir. You, uh, so so the whole neighborhood. Hey, the wrong when neighborhood. you think about oh, like like stop six and all that, you was going to the old neighborhoods when you was a kid or when you was in when you was cripping. No sir, uh, I played in my neighborhood. In the era that I came up in, if you didn't play smart, you died. Okay. I came up in a neighborhood where um, Crips and Bloods existed. When I started Cripping over there, you know, it branched off. You know, I planted seeds in the neighborhood and it grew up over there, you know. And, um, but different streets did their own things. But uh, you had to know what trail to walk down. You might cross one trail, be on another side full of blood. Hey, but I was just going to say, if, if you haven't been on the wrong side of uh, town, the wrong side, I mean, if you haven't been on the wrong side of town, that means you ain't been in the streets like that. Because uh, you're going to end up on the wrong side of town in some type of point. I mean, it's gonna uh, happen. Yeah, you, you, I'm, you I'm had, you yeah, that's I'm how you got caught in it. Uh, I'm gonna put it like this. Um, I missed out a lot in my neighborhood by staying out. By, by, um, how can I see it? Well, I missed a lot of life. I missed out on a lot in life by just staying in that little old spot. Cause I knew if I came out that spot, I end up in the box. I get it. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't play with my life. I knew my life was easy. And man, the, 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 I was like, shit, if that can happen to him, God damn. It can happen, happen to me. Yeah. Damn, damn, if that can happen to him. I went. I grew up where it was three and four from. These niggas get crowded. Oh, such and such got killed, boo -doo, release it. Cause that was happening, it was happening so random, you didn't know who to feel for. She'll get killed today, you get killed two days later. We crying for her, then, then you, then you got to cry for you. Then all of a sudden we come and they say he didn't got killed too. That's how it was happening. Wow. Sound like a game. You didn't have fit. You didn't have time to feel for, oh, no, the, I for the no next nigga. That you I was seeing myself, in. so you I know what no game. Well, let me no. ask you this: um, when, What was the first time that you got sent to prison? Uh, I got sent to prison. Well, what was, year was it? Uh, eighty nine, around in eighty nine. Eighty nine, ninety. About just 90. being developed. You yeah. was just yeah, being boy. born. Oh, no, I was just getting developed. Well, well, how old was you in eighty nine? Remember that? Thank you. Thank you. Making me. Oh, you wasn't even born yet. Well, you born in ninety? Yeah, but I was developed in the eighties. So when it, <laughs> see, listen, people don't get that because they always say you 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 represent the nineties. No, I, I'm in the eighties. Don't put me in the nineties. I don't want to hear that. Man, I got listen, photos. Man. I got four I months in the eighties. Four months in the nineties. So were you what eighty? No, ninety. They <laughs> said ninety. I don't like saying that because I'm born in ninety. No, I don't like saying. Oh, I, I like saying eighty because it's it's it's. it's Yes, like we look stupid. You try, try, try to cheat like me. Like, 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 we like, like I'm a 70s baby. No, nah, nigga, you're a yeah. 69 baby. Mm -hmm. I'm like, 69. Now <laughs> you, see, you see what I be saying. Like, it, 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 and now you're a 70s. Your generation is crazy. Yeah. Like, crazy, yeah. crazy. I, 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 I appreciate my so, era. When you got, when you, what did you do? What did you uh, do? I caught, oh, an injury, I caught an injury to a child. Wow. I caught an injury to a child. Um, you know, I done told a story in two different ways, and niggas didn't um, boast and brag, but the first time I told it, um, uh, a family member came up, you know, man, don't, you know, that was years ago. You know, they don't want to open them open wounds. They got yeah. kids grown now. They hear them stories. Yeah, but it's the truth. Oh, really? So I told the story in a different way. But I'll tell it again. I got, I, I caught an injury to a child. Uh, I had to fight a whole family. Mm. <laughs> See, they tried to jump me. Oh, already? You know I, I've been I mean? there. So I've everybody been there. got the same work. You dig what I'm saying? But anyway. Uh, hey, the child shouldn't have been a grown folks, but. Uh, it, it happened like that. It happened like that. And, um. Uh, it was sad because I caught that case. I caught, you know, I, I fought for my life. They towed my car up, knocked my windows out, everything. I just came from a track meet um, with another friend of mine. You know, my friend had been jumping on the young girl or whatever. You understand me? And they thought it was me. It wasn't me. Hey, there you go right there. Jump. They kicking my car, beating my car. Well, shit, god dang. I go up there to tell their mama that your kids out and she snapped. Well, don't your kids out here jumping up, beating up my car and turn my car up, ma'am. Well, you ain't got no business. That's when I knew that everybody got down. They ignorant, my kids ignorant, mama ignorant, everybody ignorant. They jumped. I ran off from the situation. Then I seen them knocking the windows out of my car. I blacked out. Posted. What? Posted. What? Did too. He talking about. Ran up there and went OG person on. You hear me? On mm -hmm. everything in the yard. But then it happened so on. Um, good job. Um, had um 
cheated. I went to Job Corps, McKinney Job Corps, somewhere down here. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah. I cheated. I um, back in the days, got around them Dallas niggas, and they sent me to McKinney Job Corps, and uh, I ended up the time, we're going to go in there and mess with the women and the girls and such and such. And, and they, they said, what are we going to take? They said, we're going to take cosmetology and nurses' aid. <laughs> Is that how you end up in, in how did you end up in? No, watch, this, watch this. That's how I ended up getting a, a nurses' aid job. I was saying that to say this, I had a good job. At this time, I was working at Miller Memorial Hospital. Okay, this is when it all went down. Yeah, when it all went down. Went over there for the weekend, they told my shit up. Um, I jumped on the family, I went to work the next day. A couple of days later, um, went down in the office, and they called me to the office, and they were like, person, two guys want to talk to you. They asked me if I have an altercation over the weekend. I told them, yes, sir, the family tried to jump on me. They told my car. And I told them the story, and they looked at me like they had a folder in their hand, and um. Uh, the first time I ever heard these words in my life. He said, before we talk to you, we have to say something. Do you have a right to remain silent? Whoa. I was like, shit, wait, hold on, hold on. That's that shit they be saying on TV. That's cool. <laughs> That's what they be saying on yeah. Now, not knowing what's ahead of that. Yeah. You hear me? Like, goddamn, I've been hearing it all my life. Don't, know don't, don't want to hear. On yeah. Chips, Hawaii 5 oh, book them down low. You got the right to remain. I ain't heard it no I just... That's the police. That's the, that's the movie stuff. That's it. That's right? it. That's the only place I never heard it. Let you know how green I am to the law. How green I am to the system, how green I am to being locked up, never. I work, I go to work. I'm the only nigga in the hood with a car. I got a Nova, Chevy Nova, 350 mode in it. My bad boy with, right there. With the dual pipes on it. No, I'm going to work every day. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing as a child and mm -hmm. in the game. You hear me? Mm hmm. But I'm, 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 I'm community revolution in progress. But I say you're taking care of business, though. Yeah, so that's as, as, yeah. yeah, everybody got to slide like I slide. Don't slide around me. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. I'm working. And then that problem came. Wow. Changed my life. Um, what what, what lost, unit? Watch this. Lost my job. Yeah, that had hurt. I know what I want to ask you. Go ahead. Lost my job at the hospital. They came in. They arrested me at the hospital. Walked me out in handcuffs. Went back the next day. Bonded out. Oh, you about that. Bonded, you bonded out. Didn't even make it upstairs. Didn't even go into jail. Said, bond already at the door. Mama them crying. Percy in jail. First time. Day. I'm with my daddy. I'm a daddy, baby. Daddy ain't finna let me get locked up. Shoot, now I didn't get to put. If I got in there to go with them, um, Diverson. That's me. Or come on, you made bun. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. Ooh, that'll be the happiest words of, boy. You hear me? I'm gone. I'm out. The, 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 say, that's better than what? Best words in the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. Where you gone? Roll it up. You out of here. What? Let's go. But, um. After that, a cycle in my life took place, and uh, that's where life took place. Um, I didn't go to prison for that. I got two years probation. How'd you, how'd you, ride, how'd you ride that probation, though? Um, not long. <laughs> yeah, that's um, what they get you at. Not long. That's what they get not you long. at. That's what they um, get you at, boy. Due to my behavior, the type of life I was living. I like to smoke the weed. I love the weed. I love the game bang. You know, I'm I'm doing, you know, Spice One is out. NWA is out. Ice Cube is out at the time. You know, the internet is going crazy. Uh, they ain't even banging on wax, ain't even came out yet. She, we still got a couple years for that mud even drop. But you know, they're not already pausing the internet and pausing us through the internet. Then we don't yep. know nothing about that. Oh, I do. You know, well, oh, I do. Yeah. But I, we was on that. Hit Ice Cube, sent me to the jailhouse. I couldn't take it. No Did you catch another case before um, you went? Um, yes, sir. Burglary habitat habitation. I called a burglar of a building. Burglary. I started robbing. You know, I lost my job. Back then, back then, you know, the most gangster thing was kicking in door, rob, breaking in house. Yeah, we gonna break in the house. That's it. That's the only thing games. There wasn't no stepping, trapping or nothing. Uh, we gonna break in houses. You know, anything easy, run there, get away, go find a jury box, get the VCR, nigga. There wasn't no getting no TV, because them TV big and heavy yeah, with tubes fuck, in boy. them back then. There wasn't no flat screens, take out running. Hey, we nah. call them big boo TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it take three dicks. Yeah, yeah. You got to carry it on both sides. Big TV, but uh, back then, breaking in houses was the thing. So uh, I broke in a couple of houses. Uh, and uh, I, I had a party. You know, one thing about me, I never got caught doing nothing. I caught probation for that, and um, I broke in the house. My partner was in there. He was in there stealing everything but what he was supposed to be stealing. And I happened to walk inside this dining room. The man had a goddamn um, a China cap. You know what a China cap is? Oh, yeah. Like? I'm supposed to get them. No, it wasn't China. It wasn't number rifles, antiques. And I knew that was Oh. Cool. I went in there, and I took a skillet, and I went in the room, and I threw that skillet through there, and I took the bag, and I, I took it. He had 26 guns in there. I was like, I'm up. I said, you got what you need? He said, yeah. I said, what you got? He said, a VCR. I said, that's good. You own. You got a VCR? He said, what's that? And then he ended up fixing the sandwich. Nigga, how the hell oh, you in there man. frying food? Nigga, we in there rob breaking in the house. They watch him in the home. movies. But then you frying the bologna. <laughs> they just put it on the bread. We robbing. You in there frying the bologna like we at home. <laughs> and we breaking in the house. 
But anyway, make a long story short, on I gave him one of the guns. I sold mine back then. Nigga gave me Mexican gave me twenty six hundred dollars for twenty six guns. <laughs> Shit, but let me tell you, some hundred dollars back then. I was just say back then that money was what? good. I thought I was rich. You couldn't tell me nothing. I thought I was rich. I said I'm gonna give me a rag top, put on my car, and some trues and vows. That's all I want. Some trues and vows. Trues and vows were going on in on the Nova and some hair. <laughs> <laughs> Shoes and bows and some hair. Yeah, yeah, on a Nova. Ooh, oh, two yeah. though. Uh, photo. Photo. The photo Chevy. That one went hard. Stop what color? Me. Uh, it was tan with the Ooh. peanut butter top. <laughs> yeah. You know, hey man, I got I, I got to show you something out there. I got yes, it. I got something to show you when we get we through the interview. Talk that noise. So I got it, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, make a long story short, man. I did that, and um, by the time I gave one of my partners one of the guns, he got caught with it. He told the laws where he got it from. Uh, well, you know, you know, that then person get pulled over again on probation for the uh, other the injury the injury to a child like Demerson. He said, Where when they pulled me over, everybody draw down on me, said me, Where's the guns? What guns? I learned one thing in life, man. If you don't know nothing, you ain't in nothing. Um, mm-hmm. uh, I've stuck to that code for through trial, <laughs> uh, through tribulations. <laughs> and to <laughs> this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> and guess what I found out? It works. I know it works. It works. I'm saying. So when you you had to go to so you had to, I know you went to court and all that yeah, stuff. And but, getting, and, um, and, but I want to ask you about being a brother, and I don't know. People probably ask you this: being a brother, first time ever in that courtroom like that. Hmm. How did that? You, you see what I'm saying? Lost. Look, look wild, don't it? Lost. Uh, you think you back in the old King James days? You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm asking. <laughs> you hear me? Uh, and not only that. It's, it's sad when people are speaking regular English, but you don't know what they're saying. It's tough, ain't it? Oh, it's real. I tell you, uh, Little Wayne told him a long time ago, people have mastered every language in this world. English, African, Chinese, French. The black man ain't mastered one language. Court talk. You need that. Need that. If you're going to live in a lifestyle, you need that. Yeah. So, so when you went in there, did, yes, you, you had a court-appointed lawyer? Or did like, you yeah, have? You know, you know ain't nobody finna help press a bad ass. <laughs> Who finna get person some money? So that court appointed, what he tell you? You need to go on and take this. Well, number one, you know he sucking my daddy. You know I wasn't gonna, you know my daddy. You know black people back then, you know you're ignorant to the law is your fault when you don't know it. Uh, I had to learn one thing back then. If you want to play the game, learn the rules. You want to be, you know, play football, learn learn the rules. Basketball, learn what a foul is. Learn the rules. Gangster, learn, learn the, the law. <laughs> learn the law. Yeah. Learn the rules to the law. And I, um, we didn't know the we didn't know the rules at that time. So anything sound good, we didn't know that they'll play tricks on my. We offered them ten years, but um, we'll we'll, we'll give them three. So I'll take the three, take the three, take the three. They offered the ten. They called me ten, daddy. You know, ten, ten. But they gonna give you three, three. Take the three. I take the three. You know. Don't know you could have had just thirty days. Yep. Thirty days if you held out quiet. right. Just be quiet. Yeah, if you if you you know, daddy, you know, cause they didn't sold you, daddy. You know, I forgot. Damn, daddy, you look older than me. So you slave. You know, I'm still on slave level, but you on major slave level. <laughs> That's you know, not thing happening to me. <laughs> yes, sir. So yes, you sir. took you went in and signed the paper. Signed the three for the three. Uh, what unit did uh, you hit? The first the unit, first unit you hit? I went. I went to uh, Century Unit. Where's Century Unit? No, 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 no. I went to Ramsey Unit. Ramsey, Ramsey Ro- Unit. Rocher in Texas. Ramsey too. Rocher. Shout out to them boys on Ramsey. When you got there, what they say? You on the Ramsey Unit. Well, you know. You um, know, when you get out, when you yeah. got off the bus. Right. I'm talking about when you right. first got there. No, right. I ain't talking right. about you. Right, right. Because right. uh, let me tell you what happened was. I had that probation, right? For the Jew, for the, um, I had that probation for the injury to the child. And then I caught the, the, the two years. They, they really gave me. Two more years for the um the burglary, so they ran together and just gave me three. So to violate the thing, they had a thing come to Texas. The first Ann Richardson was the uh, lady in council at that time. Ann Richardson, Ann the best Richardson, thing going um, when it came down to the law, which uh, I learned the law. Uh, Ann Richardson was handing out thirty one days for a year. You hear what I said? Mm-hmm. 30, that's it. She thirty one days, you get a year of credit. Just say if you got twenty five years, you got twenty five months. That's 31 days. That's what 31 days per year. But uh, she had a thing came to town. It was the first thing that ever hit Texas. It was called the penitentiary boot camp system. And it was called 90 days. If a nigga could yeah, survive. Yeah, you turn around. Yeah, you get in there. You can see if you can survive that 90 days and come on home. Shit, you, 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 you be free. They start you back over. They won't, you won't have to go to the penitentiary. 
But you still got to go back on probation. But you got to go back on the probation. That's it. T- that was a, that was a catch twenty two. That's a catch twenty two. Yeah, I know it. But say back then, it just back sound then, good. Nigga, yeah, sound good. Sound good. They, they playing with it so on. Um, I said the boot camp. I said, oh hell no. I'm gonna take the penitentiary time. She said, she said, but you go to boot camp, do ninety days. They they gave you three years. You can do ninety days. Shit, I'm doing days, three days, three years. But I still see how they played me. Y'all didn't hear the game, though. Yeah, I already know. You, you take the 90 days to no. three years? No, damn well, I'm taking the 90 days. I'm not taking it. I'm taking take it. it. I, ain't, I'm pro, I hate probation. I'm not taking it. Okay. But the I 90 days, you it. still got to come back on probation. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm standing in jail. They said, you see, you can catch the catch I'm going to fuck up again. I just said Ann Richardson was giving out 31 days for a year. Y'all offered me 90 days. Well, that, that did match up, didn't it? Yeah. They, they, it just sound good. You know what I'm saying? It was easy. It was gonna be the 90 days any goddamn way I took it. You mm-hmm. took shit. Uh, three months was the three years <laughs> for the TDC. I could have got there and got the. That would have been better. I could have got there, got the 150 dollars, and went on about to the house. Yep, with no probation. But the 90 days and 100 in three years, I take the 90 days. Play damn. Ran with it. <laughs> <Yep. Yeah. laughs> Ran with it, but anyway, everybody was doing it though. Yeah, you know, everybody getting sucker because they didn't know the law. They didn't know the law, and the kid, and guess what? Uh, in these days and time, it catches up with you. Yeah. Oh, ain't no Ann Richards. She did. It's old. Oh, and, and you ain't. And it's called Sharon Wilson now. It's called you know big time DAs now. It's called yeah the top of the line now. You uh, you ain't know they law. They playing. Oh what? Ninety days. Ninety. Days. <laughs> No, nah, you'll never know until you get there. How long did you stay out when you when you got back? Oh man, I had a um. Cause you went and did the shock probation. I had I had, I had an institutionalized or boot camp. I had institutionalized myself. Um, I, I got out. I didn't stay out for about what? Well, I came home. Shit, I didn't stay out good. I told a lady I came home smoking weed and <laughs> you know youngster like I, I was I was a rascal, damn fool, ignorant, uh, didn't care. I told this lady straight up. Then I'm gonna smoke my weed and she couldn't tell me what to do. I told my same thing. I told See, my look at I, I listen. You look I, like you would do this. You look like you would do this. No, because I played the system. I, I listen. Know, I heard you. I heard I, you. I'm finna tell you exactly what I did. I had caught uh, two aggravated so I was dealing with him. I got him dropped to a misdemeanor. And they told me I could do it up to a year in jail. And me thinking, you're not finna do a whole year in jail. So when I signed probation, I told mm-hmm. a woman, I wouldn't have seen her for the first month. I went for the second month. I said, ma'am, I ain't coming back. She's like, what you mean, Moses? I said, ma'am, I ain't coming back. She's like, why? I said, she said, come back. I said, all right. I called her. I called her and said, hey, I texted I text, I mean, I text the, uh, the, uh, the judge, too. I texted her, I'm not coming back to court. I don't care what y'all say. I'm not coming back. I don't care what y'all do. How y'all, how y'all figure out? I'm not coming. She's like, Mo, just come back. I said, okay. I came back. I said, look, I delete your number. I delete this number. I'm not coming back. She said, okay, I'll see you back next morning. I said, all right, watch this. Never showed up. Three years later, they finally caught me. I did 30 days. For now, 45 days in jail, I was back free. That part. That part. I'm not taking probation no more because yeah. I know what it's going to do to you. So yeah. they're not going to do yeah. nothing to you at all. Probation is a setup for incarceration. Yep. Exactly what it is. Probation is a setup for incarceration. Uh, it's a setup for every black man that takes it. But then, this is how, how I beat him. I ain't tell you this. How I beat him was when I took the the uh, the, 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 the aggravated side of their weapons. It was a felony. I made him drop to a misdemeanor. Then sign for misdemeanor probation instead of uh, felony probation. Okay, take care of your business. So I made him do that because <laughs> they kept telling me. They kept telling me we got you on this uh case. I said, I said, no, y'all don't, man. Stop playing with me. No, y'all don't. I had, I had a, uh, 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 a court appointed lawyer. I'm telling them what to do because I already know the case already because I know what what happened on the field. I knew what happened on the field. You didn't have me on nothing because I didn't do all of that which I said I did. So I knew I was in the clear already. So I was like, you ain't got me on nothing. Whatever we're gonna do. I told him. I said, go on there and sign for probation. I mean, give me probation, miss me probation. He said, you can't do it, sir. I said, all right. Next court date. I said, you going to get it for me? He said, nope. I said, I'll see you again. Came yeah. back. I got it for you, Moses. Yeah, they play with No, nah, you're not going to play me like that. I said, I know y'all. We, y'all playing for I mean, y'all y'all going to hurt us if we don't say nothing. If we say something, then they're going to speak up for us. But if we don't say nothing, they're not going to do nothing at all. Nah, they're going to hurt know. you. So... I get it. O- OG Percy, so the, the, how, how long was you gone? Okay, how long uh, was you out when you get? You say you went back, and what did you go back for? Um, Let me tell y'all something. Um, I turned three years into eight years. You turned three years into eight years. How? Mm, easy. If you don't complete it, you got to start over. But you'll get it one day. You hear me? <laughs> so, That's how. They'll stretch it on you. What? You end up in institution after institution coming home on the same thing and still not going to be... Say, I, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't get right. What does he call it? Couldn't, couldn't get, get right. right. So, <laughs> can't get right. So were you literally right. getting out at the Walls unit and going back, or you just never made it out? I, I came home from the Walls about five times, about four times. So you home. kept going back. <laughs> Golden Gates. That part. 
bird unit. If y'all want to call it, the bird unit. That's where the bird fly. That's a, um. <laughs> what was the hardest time you done, man? When they made me do it all. What was it all? Five. The last time I done. It was the hardest they made time. Me the whole five. What whole unit five, was well, you on during Ferguson. that time? Ferguson. Ferguson. Ooh, that's rock and roll. Ferguson. Rock and roll, ain't it? Gladiator. Gladiator. Walk through the door, you gonna get your head brought to. What year was this? I went to I went to Ferguson in thirteen. Around eleven. Two thousand ten. Now I caught my case in uh, 07. I hit Ferguson around like oh nine. Around that time, I ain't come home till like 2013. I hit Ferguson, I was just like, about like 40, 36, 37. 37 so they ain't bother you, them, them youngsters let you make it. Ain't no such thing as making it on Ferguson. That's an STG unit. That's a security threat group unit. Uh, everything over there got aggravated time, life sentences, and gang banging. Ain't no making it. No making it. No, rascals. Whole bunch of them. Old nigga ain't got no business over there, and a young nigga ain't got no business over there. So what uh, was the what was the what? Okay, name an inc incident where you would find yourself getting into situations. Do you see what I'm saying? Because you walking every day, these young nigga they all over the place. What was it that 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 made them want to give you issues? OG Percy in the Ferguson unit. When I stepped off the bus, <laughs> shit. They know you. Now nah, ain't know they know you. Uh. They try you. Uh, that that um, some of them live for that. When I first got there, a nigga walked up on me. I made sure after that day, nigga, I did all the walking up on. Him. You hear me? A nigga walked up on me and one of my a little dude that was on the side of me. I thought he was tough shit. You know, we came there together and he talked that talk. We heard now, but I knew where we was at. And that nigga walked up and said, "Yeah, y'all just got here." I'm like, "Yeah, nigga, we just got here." He said, well, nigga, we doing a whole lot of fighting over here, nigga. I said, that's what's up. He said, all right. And he walked off. I said, that nigga, I said, you ready? <laughs> 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 say, you nigga, now. Nah. And the nigga had a look in his eye. He square business. We doing a whole lot of fighting over here. Yeah, look in your eyes. I'm going to tell you everything. He told me everything. I'm tell you everything, boy. He told me <clears throat> everything. And I kept that look in my eyes until I left there. You hear me? Uh -huh. Yeah. I ain't let that nigga, uh. Say nothing to me wrong. I didn't, I didn't let that nigga feel disrespect. When I got up to Ferguson, I got up to about like 215 pounds. I turned myself into a fighting machine from top to bottom. Uh, and I worked my way to the top. When I went in there, I was, I was a five-star sergeant. When I came in there, when I left out there, I'm a five-star general. Yeah, you got ranking. Of, you, got, you got OGs, BGs, YGs. That's that street shit. When you get to the penitentiary, you got rank. And rank is what you supposed to be. Yeah, go get the sergeant, go get the cabin, go get the lieutenant. Same thing as an inmate when you work up in a gang. I was the highest ranking gang member over there. Five dudes who were crib gang. OG Percy, five star general. The highest ranking gang member. It was all tatted. I got my five stars going down both sides. I called the shots. Um, something hard to do for an old nigga and a young nigga penitentiary where the young niggas don't give a fuck. About no old nigga. How did you get to that that level? Just is, was it the fights or was it the what was it? The respect. The respect that come with the fighting. They don't get your shit. Anybody get put on the ass. You hear me? It was the respect. <laughs> it's the respect that come along with it with the fight. Um, the reason for the fight never lost the fight. And I told the youngsters, the only reason I ain't never lost the fight. Shit, I ain't never started now. That's the only way, the only way not to lose a fight. Mm -hmm. That's the only way not to lose a fight. Speaking of fight, was could you tell a, a person fighting boxing style from what unit they would come from? Yes, sir. Cofield different. Darrington is different. Ellison is different. Ferguson, you. Which you, was the hardest style? No, Ferguson. Ferguson had the hardest style of boxing. Ferguson. 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 The young breed. What? What? I heard stories. Is Freaky Friday a real thing? Well, you know, it depends on, you know, when I was there, when I was there, it depends on what kind of freaky you was trying to get. You hear me? Uh, you got something going to get freaky with you, and you got something going to take you to that yard. I, that was my job. I ran the wreck yard. Okay. That's where I got down there. That's, that, that's my stomping ground. That was Percy's, that was OG Percy's domain. Um, wreck, when they yell wreck, exactly what it is when you come out there fucking with us. You get yourself in a wreck, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You want to go to wreck? Shit, you just got here. You better not go out there. 
It's going oh, down. They ain't gonna tell you no person them out there on that break yard. And I ain't going out there, man. Shit, them niggas be out there on some bullshit. And I, every, yeah, every Friday, every Friday, I need me a three piece. You, you, and you. you no, know, goddamn me. Well, back to back. I would have loved that, bro. <laughs> this shit. It's out there. Back to back. It's, it's out there. I'm doing it every. I'm doing it. And, and wasn't no shame in my game. It didn't make me no tough nigga. It didn't make me no bad nigga. It made me a square business nigga. I was just going to say that. It's going to help saying? you. I'm just going to help it you out. Made me a square business nigga. I didn't do the shadow boxing. I didn't do the playing with the house shoes, the punching bag. Fuck that. I learned one thing. There ain't nothing fighting, swinging back at you. You don't know what you got. You know what I'm saying? That was my rule. I didn't let Crip niggas do shadow boxing. No, ain't no shadow about what you doing over there, Cutter? We don't punch at the wind over here. Put something in front of that. Get something. Somebody get over there and get in front of them. Let's see what he's talking about. We don't do no swinging around, no trying, because that's show out. That's showmanship. Anybody look pretty without something in front of them. So you put something in front of them, they get to run around them. But <laughs> well, goddamn, what happened to them? <laughs> you know the Bob and Weed, you were just in the corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you making it look real pretty. <laughs> He sold me. I thought you had something. As soon as you put something in front of a nigga, run them all around that motherfucker. You hear me? Got him. Uh, I checked on the wrecking yard. My job was to check niggas when they come to the penitentiary. As soon as they get there. As soon as they walk on the door. That was my job. Big, small, or tall. Bar none, fade out. That's what I did. That's what, that what got me through prison. That what got me through the young niggas. That's what I, I taught the young niggas that I walked by what I taught. I didn't call shots from the bench. When I got there, um... You had niggas been sitting there 18 and 14, 16 years and 20 some years and they was on the bench and they, you know, they was Crips and um, they ran, they ran they position from the bench. And I looked at them niggas and I was like, shit, them niggas ain't gonna do shit anyway. Oh, that's the man right there. Oh, that, that's the man? Yeah, that big homie right there, he the one you gotta go, go through him. Well, that ain't shit. You know what I'm saying, me? But um, I respected the big homies over there. Shout out to my nigga Shug, 103rd Shug, Carlos, 103rd Crip Gang. Uh, he passed me to, to Baton to be the next in charge. Uh, it was, you know, cause some nigga was looking at me like, shit, nigga, that nigga ain't been here two years yet. How you gonna be the, I've been here 14 years, 16, 18 years. How you gonna come in and, yeah, because he, cause I'm about that action. Uh, so who was the hardest challenge that you had? Fighting now on the yard on a freaky Friday. I picked three. This nigga ain't easy. Oh, it was, it was a lot of them. They ain't easy. No, I'm talking about the one that you, <laughs> the one you remember. Uh, you drummer. know, shout out to drummer Dallas West West Dallas drummer West Dallas drummer drummer. drummer. He From brought West. it. Yeah, he square business out of West Dallas. You niggas be cheating down here. Y'all got boxing gyms and shit. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we have to grow up. We have to grow up and learn how to fight in the streets. I'm just saying though. I, I ain't seen a boxing gym type of What made him? What, you, what, what that type? What, you, what made? What I ain't made, never seen that. Wait a minute. But did he have a style of boxing like yeah, professional? Business. Yeah. Uh, you tell you Dallas niggas got you know um, finesse about your fighting game, and you can tell you niggas been in the gym. You understand me? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that part. Uh, feet work nice, yep. uh, hand game. Like you, They've been working on it for a and minute. I be sitting there looking like, well, shit, I don't know none of that shit. Now I'm going to whoop these niggas. Uh, I got to learn this. See, my game was to look and learn. I didn't have no problem being an old nigga out there letting a the young nigga teach mm -hmm. me something. Yeah. What? I'm going to put all that in my arsenal. I need all that. Now let me see, the, let me see how, you do, now how you do that turn again, youngster. Okay, now get me right. Yeah, you're going to have to. You know, I need that. I'm going to learn all that. I'm going to learn all that until I, I get my shit together. And then I'm gonna start making my changes. And my changes was the first thing. I felt like if a nigga gonna yell Crip coming through the door, we gonna watch him. So I'm gonna look at him. So, you know, uh, my thing was they didn't agree with that. Well, I ain't asking no nigga to agree with it. I feel like I ain't got my shit together now. I've been here almost a year and a half. <laughs> I've been watching, learning, twisting, boxing, shadow boxing in the room, getting my weight up, eating good. I feel like I'm on point. And so this is where I want to stand. And niggas didn't like it. They didn't appreciate it. They didn't want me to be that. Nigga, nigga, what? Well, I'm going to say, man, from there on, for Crip come to the door, I'm going to check him. You, you got to watch what you say on, on Ferguson, because one thing about it, your word is your bond, nigga. First time you do something that you don't watch this, watch this look I give you. First time you do something, you say something, and you don't do it, that's what niggas do. Now they watching you. That nigga ain't about, he said he was going to whoop nigga when he came in the door. Don't never put your mouth on something that you don't handle. They watch that. Uh, one D thing about Ferguson, if you selling, they buying. 
Did you ever go to another unit after you no, left Ferguson? No, no, no. Never? No, no. You talking to a man that used to couldn't even stay out a good nine months. Every time I came home, I'm back in this motherfucker. Back in it. Back in this motherfucker. Come, come home, get a baby, get somebody pregnant, looking good, and I'm finna hit the streets. I'm finna go game bang in the streets, finna rob, finna jack, finna hit a trap, finna hit a trap over. That's what, that was, that what I did in the streets. I'm known for robbing and jacking. I didn't have no name for fighting. Did you... Uh uh, yeah, you know, yeah, I know y'all down there. Uh, nigga had to bust, uh, make spreads and all kind of stuff. Didn't oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, survive. Good eating, major eating. The eating always good. Shit, if you can eat, you you on. Anybody can do time with a full stomach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Empty stomach, you gonna you? be up all night. What? Yeah. The next meal coming from you're waiting on that chat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait Wait on your I you know you. Good. I know you, you gotta get it. I gotta get that freestyle, man. Boss talk one on one, man. Oh hell yeah! Don't play with me. Put on the game. Put the light up. I got something too. How you feel about people that don't respect Crip and Blues? Y'all go and go ahead. Let's go. Now How you feel about people that don't respect Crip and Blues? How do I feel? Every band has his own opinion. See that's good Cause anybody else Probably says some, some old bullshit Every man has his own opinion About anybody um, You hear me yeah. uh, Even about me um, What I re represent What I stand for uh, A lot of niggas Don't like that I went crypt to Christian I ain't no Christian I just went crypt to God so I'm not no religion No nothing You dig what I'm saying um, Yeah Um Niggas can, niggas can say F crip out, it wouldn't bother me. And don't supposed uh, to. Uh, it rolls on my, I'm grown. You exactly. Know? Especially um, when, if, you, if you out the uh, shit already, it's like, right, right, you can't right. sit here and say, oh, you, I'm you, not, you, I'm you not, out I'm, the game. No, I'm not out of nothing. I, I, I got a, it's, too, it's tatted all over me. All over my neck, behind my head, everything. Because one thing I learned, you know, if you, if you use it for what it's worth, community revolution in progress, community, hey. if you put that to work, it can't go wrong. What you think? I mean, I'm finna tell you something. I heard something the other day. It really pissed me off. Man, <laughs> okay. I, I'm gonna tell you what I heard. heard? Men say you got all type of ties through through the pipeline and stuff. All right, right. Ooh. But if but but if you can call somebody to say, hey, you can handle this. Go do this the dumb way. Mm -hmm. When you can't call them and say, hey, can you do this the good way? They do that in four work. Four trade. Shout out them four trade crib. I know. I heard that. But it, but it's, I, I heard I heard that he was like, we we need to come together to figure out a way. Uh, you mm -hmm. already got a way. Just open your mouth. Uh, you got one. Nobody else. Give, Just open give, your give, mouth. Give me that scar face on on my block. Just open your mouth and say what you gotta say. Somebody gonna hear you. You ain't got well nobody right. else but yourself. Right. Uh, you ain't right. got well no 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 other man to say hey we gotta do this and do that. You already been doing it. If you can make a phone call, make a phone call. And say hey do this, do that. Yeah. You ain't yeah. got well nobody. You, uh, we grown. Man, some of these cats you know they get they get to where they need to be and they leave. Oh, really? They don't throw the rope. Let's over make sure the you wall. put the, make sure you give, give me that boss talk because I'm gonna play this. I'm playing the hell out of this man. You <laughs> that boss talk one on one. Oh we gonna do that anyway. Uh, what's up, preach? Can y'all hear me? Let's go. Boss talk, we in here. Look, I heard a lot of war stories, seen a lot of lies paid. A lot of brothers still breathing that don't even care. Look, I should have got shot, but the buck shots ricocheted. I should have got killed, but mama hit her knees and prayed. I should have got robbed when that gun was pointed at my nose. Look, it ain't no luck when bullet clothes all in your clothes. Look, you don't see me with no cross on my back. Jesus died for my sins. Huh? I can't copy that cap. But look, let me holler at you for a minute, man. You stand for nothing, boy. You fall for anything. Look, huh? five shots didn't drop him. He took it and smiled. That's what Tupac used to say. Wow. Look at him now, look, huh? You don't understand the pain that I live with And all the anger and the danger that I sleep with See, I was born dying, headed for the casket I made my deathbed, one day I gotta lay in it I closed my eyes and asked God to please speak his mind He told me to preach, Percy, preach Preach? I ain't no preacher I guess I will My mama told me, Percy, you gonna be a preacher I didn't know that I'd be preaching through these speakers. Look, you can see it under my eyes, a lot of pain inside. I put that on God. It's me against all odds. Cause one day you're here, the next day you're gone. One day you're broke, the next day you're on. The streets got my heart, but they ain't got my soul. I'm OG Percy, the greatest story never told. Look, you scared of dead folks? Get your life right. Cause when you live wrong, boy, you can't sleep right. These brothers dying every day over nonsense. These youngsters going to hell without a conscience. And religion, it done turned into a contest. Cause if there's a heaven, then where the hell is the stairway? If there's a heaven, God, could I please get some airplay? All I'm trying to do is preach, person, preach. But let me tell you, I'm preaching. 
Okay. Keep going. No, uh, no, no. Hold on, hold on, man. Okay. Now, don't do me like that. Okay. Say, say, Supreme. Oh. Uh, look. Now let me tell you a little something about the safety that I roll with 101. The boss. Bring all the hell you can come with. Look, I got my Bible in my hard hat. Cause when I leave this place today, I gotta go back where the war at. <laughs> and you can bring the whole hell, it don't matter. All I gotta say is Jesus and demons gonna scatter. <laughs> I got the mind of the man that's inside you. You can run, you can hide, he gonna find you. And like I said, it ain't no getting away. And when I finish preaching today, the devil gonna have to take his hands away. Prepare for spiritual war, this is combat. Cause some go to the war and don't come back. Hey, man. One on one, man. Man, hey, man. Boss talk one on one, man. What a hey, boss is talking hey, That's man. what you call preaching through the speakers. Man, that's I love. I, hey, man, I already know, man. I already know <laughs> how you do it, man. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I'm going to use that. Cause my granddad told me that a long time ago. She yeah. Me, she, everybody told me my brother gonna be a preacher. And she kept looking at me. Like every time I tell her, she always look at me. She never think I saw her, but she always look at me. But man. I see what you just said, preaching through the speakers, I see it now. Speakers, man, man, that's, that's a crazy. Dope, dope. Hey man, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. We love you. First, thank you so much, man. For How can people me. get a hold of you? OG Percy Show No Mercy. That's the way my daddy cursed me. Y'all can hit me up on my YouTube page at OG Percy Show No Mercy. Demerson. Uh, you can find me on Diamond Stone TV. You can find me on Real Team TV. Man, you everywhere. You can find me on Real Life Street Stars. You can find you me on everywhere. 85 South Show, And now man. you can find you on Boss now Talk 101. Now you can find me on Boss Talk 101. Well, the bosses up, talk, nigga. Yeah. Stop playing, man. It's That's been another what? great segment of Boss Talk 101. Hey, everybody go like, subscribe, subscribe, comment. <laughs> hey. So I can fuck with y'all in the comments. Ah. <laughs>